Hi folks, welcome along to another IVHQ Express webinar today talking all about volunteering in Morocco. We've got a member of the IVHQ Morocco team, Kayla. Kayla's going to join us and she's going to help us answer the top 10 questions that are asked by IVHQ volunteers before volunteering in Morocco. Are you ready? I'm ready. Question number one, where is the program located in Morocco? So the Morocco program is based in Rabat, um, but we do have placement locations in Saleh, which is a neighbouring community, as well as Casablanca, which is about an hour away. And obviously Obviously, on the HQ, we offer two uh, programs in Morocco, one in Rabat and one in Marrakesh. What is the main difference between the two? Um, so Marrakesh is a bit more inland, obviously, um, whereas Rabat is right on the coast. So you've got um, beautiful uh, coastal views. Um, there's lots to do in the area in terms of uh, things on the coast, including surfing. Um, so that's a big distinguishing factor for that program. Can you combine the two programs? Unfortunately, at this point in time, we can't, um, simply because they do start on different start dates, um, and it's just really difficult administratively to have them connect. Um, but if you want to participate on both, um, you just have to sign up for each of them separately and then you can do it consecutively. Is there anything I need to be mindful of when packing for the trip? Uh, are they uh, conservative, for example? Yeah, they're definitely um, conservative in Morocco. I would recommend volunteers make sure that their shoulders are always covered um, and if you're at your placement, um, ensure your knees are covered as well. In your spare time, it's really um, you're, you can wear whatever you want, but um, on the placement, it's really important that we remain conservative. Is it safe to actually volunteer in Morocco and, and be in the community there? Yeah, I have never had an issue there. I've never um, heard of any issues from volunteers. Um, we have a really great local team as well, um, and at orientation, they talk to volunteers about safety for precautions and you know just common sense things um, you know before they head out into the community um, but for the most part it's a really safe area and um, if there are any concerns uh, they have a multitude of, of levels they can speak to they can talk to IVHQ they can talk to their accommodation um, their host family they can talk to the local team there's always going to be someone there to support them and what type of person does this project really suit um, it's a really good program for uh, experienced travelers, um, just because it, it can be a bit of a culture shock when volunteers arrive. Um, that being said, um, volunteers who are first-time travelers or first-time volunteers, um, they do have the support of the local team, the homestay family, that sort of thing. So there's always going to be someone there um, to, to help them if they need um, assistance. But um, yeah, for the most part, we get experienced travelers on this program. And how about language? Uh, what language is spoken? And also, are there lessons available so I can learn? Yes, yeah, so um, Arabic and French is um, primarily spoken in the area. Um, some people do speak English, but um, it just sort of depends on where you are. Um, most of our homestays, um, there's at least one person who can speak some English, so um, that's quite helpful. Um, but a lot of volunteers take either Arabic or French lessons when they're there. They can take both, or they can take them separately, um, but our local team can help them to arrange that. And how about the food? Can you tell us a bit about the food? The food is amazing. Um, volunteers are um, provided with three meals a day. Um, it's cooked by the homestay family, um, but they're welcome to go out as well um, in the evening. Um, there's lots of food stalls in the area too, so you get a nice variety of different things, but um, volunteers will not go hungry on this program. Um, it's pretty much you eat until you're full and then you keep eating, so it's, it's really fun. And how about accommodation? What should volunteers expect and accommodation wise? Yep, so um, volunteers are accommodated in the local homestay with their family. Um, they share a room with volunteers of the same gender and then they'll share um, pretty much western style bathrooms, showers, that sort of thing. What can volunteers get up to in their spare time? Is there plenty to do? Yeah, there's lots to do. Like I said, surfing is um, readily available there. There's a surf school not too far from most of the accommodations. Um, the Medina is also a really popular area with lots of um, market stalls, um, food stalls, that sort of thing. And um, you can go back every day, several times a day, and find something new each time. Um, if volunteers want to go a bit further afield on weekends, they can go to Casablanca, they can go to Marrakesh. There's no shortage of things to do, and often some volunteers um, will take a long weekend, and they'll do a, a tour in the Sahara Desert as well. Well, again, thank you so much, Kayla, for answering all those questions. If we haven't answered a question that a volunteer has, they can obviously get in touch. Yep, anytime. If there is a destination that you want us to cover, please tell us in the comment section below. We release videos every Wednesday, so we'll see you again next week.